In this lesson, I'll show you how to create and arrange controls. One of the best features of Visual Studio is the way it lets you create user interfaces almost effortlessly. To do that, you need to place controls on forms. A control is one of the little gadgets on a form that lets you view or enter text, select values, click buttons, select menu commands, and so forth. Pretty much everything you see on a form in a Visual Basic program is some kind of control. To add controls to a form, first open the form in the Form Designer. Use the toolbox to add the controls. The toolbox contains more than 60 controls, so finding the control you want can sometimes take some work. One technique is to enter part of the control's name in the search box at the top. For example, if I enter Label, the toolbox lists controls with Label in their names. The toolbox also groups controls by category. The All Windows Forms category contains a list of pretty much every control you'll want to use. You can look through those categories on your own, and we'll use many of them in later lessons. For now, I'm going to open the Common Controls category, which contains about 20 controls that you're likely to use a lot. By default, the toolbox displays the controls with their names in a list. After you get to know the controls, you can right-click on the category and deselect the List View display if you'd rather just see the controls icons. There are several ways you can add a control to a form. First, you can double-click on a tool in the toolbox to make an instance of that control on the form at a default size and location. You can then click and drag the control to move it where you want it. Second, you can click on a tool in the toolbox to select it. Now you can click and drag on the form to create an instance of that control. Notice that when I create the new control, the toolbox tool is deselected. If you want to create several of the same kind of control at once, you can hold down the control key while you make the controls to keep that tool selected. Unlike the other items in the toolbox, the pointer isn't actually a control. It's a tool that lets you click controls on the form to select them. If you want to make copies of a control that is already on the form, you can select a control, press Ctrl-C to copy it, and then press Ctrl-V to paste a new copy onto the form. You can also select groups of controls and copy and paste them. Another trick is to click and drag a control while you hold down the Control key. In that case, Visual Studio drops a copy of the control onto the form while leaving the original control alone. When you're done creating controls, you can click on their edges and resize them. You can also click on a control and drag it into a new position. You can even click and drag to select multiple controls and then move them as a group. To declutter this form a bit, I'm going to click and drag all the controls and then press the delete key to get rid of them. Now I'll create a few copies of the button control and drag them into position. The format menu also contains commands that help you position controls. For example, if I select these controls, I can use the format menu's align lefts command to line them all up on their left edges. As you move and resize controls, you'll see that Visual Studio displays snap lines to make it easier to position and align controls. That's all it takes to add controls to a form. Take a few minutes to experiment with creating and arranging some controls. Try building a simple form that lets you enter a name and address with all the fields lined up nicely. Controls play a critical role in any program with a user interface, so in later lessons we'll talk a lot more about controls, how to set their properties, and how the program can get information from them when it runs.